Hi everyone, this is Bob N8RS and uh, I just wanted to show you guys the best 80 meter antenna that I've ever had at this location. I've been here 40 some years. I put this up to, uh, in the fall and uh, used it all winter and wow does it work. So right there at the top of the tower you will see that coil there. The uh, choke coil, or uh, bail-in as some people call it, on the left-hand side at the top. This is just a 30-foot tower. And then the wire goes over this way, if you can see it, to that great big tree where I shot it up there with uh, what a lot of people call a spud gun or an antenna launcher. And then it goes back this way, past all these little trees. <laughs> To that little tree way out there that's on the corner of the lot so that's a hundred feet right there and then the same wire you can see it coming back in the branches up there and it goes back to this point here again it's 251 feet of wire and that is a full wavelength for 80 meters and when it when you attach it up here all i've got up here is a quarter inch thick piece of uh, lexan plastic it's been up there i don't know several years but it was not on this antenna i took the other antenna off and uh, so this wire looks kind of crummy here it's coming apart but it still works great so anyhow i got 251 feet of wire which resonates right around 3850 on 80 meters and uh, and has a 100 ohm impedance. Uh, I use a Heathkit SA2060A tuner with it. I run my uh, KW into it and the feed line there is uh, RG11 quad shield cable TV coax. And uh, if, if you notice I'm having trouble keeping it on the antenna and all up there and the problem is that uh, it's very bright sunshine out here right now. It's 50 degrees and about two mile an hour wind. Just beautiful out here so that's why I decided to make this video right now. But I highly recommend this antenna. It, it has a very low noise floor. That's one thing that's really great about it. Uh, I was on the air this morning at uh, 9 o'clock on the uh, big round table here uh, at the Great Lakes and uh, we live in Michigan, southwest Michigan here and we have people all around Lake Michigan and in, in Indiana and uh, Ohio and uh, <laughs> a lot of different places. Uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin guys checking in so that's on 3846.5 3846.5 lower side band at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and uh, the guys just give their calls on the frequency and then uh, there's a couple of guys who take over as uh, like like a net control but it's a actually a round table anyhow uh, I just wanted to show you that antenna 251 feet of wire and a great big loop uh, the center of the coax goes to one side of the loop and the shield goes to the other. I used the uh, aluminum shield coax, the RG11 quad shield. So I used that little six inch square Lexan plastic sheet up there and I put uh, two stainless steel nuts and bolts through it and I fastened to the coax that way. And so that because because you can't solder to the shield, which is aluminum, and uh, boy does it work nice. So I just thought I'd show you this, and like I say, this is the best performing antenna I've had here at this location. I've been here 45 years now, I think, and uh, it does a super nice job. It will also work on all the other bands using the SA2060A antenna tuner, Heathkit. And of course you could use any tuner and then also uh, uh, I wanted to uh, mention that uh, 
it will also work on 160 meters. It is not the best antenna on 160 meters, but I made a lot of contacts on 160 meters with it. So it does a half, halfway decent job on 160. It is far superior on 80 with especially a low noise floor. And I uh, just thought I wanted to mention this antenna to you guys. So that's it. 73s and good DX.